Right, good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, I trust you all are well. My name is Levert Lowe. I'm an administrator here at the Research Grants Office. And uh, today I'm going to give you a little bit of an intro into the new Research Connect platform that has replaced Open for Research. Uh, I'm just going to quickly switch off my camera to kind of save us a little bit of bandwidth just to ensure that all the videos and everything play. Now I have to make sure that I can actually find it. Yeah. Ah, there we go. So, okay, so firstly, just some background on the SU DRD office. Research Connect is hosted within the grants office where we deal with international, national, and institutional research funding. The grants office comprises of our director, Malin Fouchier, Gazelle Senegal, the manager of international grants who will focus on Horizon Europe funding, Kusalezo, who focuses on international funding, in particular the AU EU innovation agenda. Myself, I focus on institutional and also uh, US funding. And lastly, Dominic and Shannon who focus on UK funding. So as you've recognized or know by now, uh, research uh, open for research recently underwent a makeover, or as the students these days would say, it went, it, it got a face beat. Uh, the platform has now migrated to Research Connect. Uh, so this is the new evolution for uh, Open for Research. The platform now provides an improved browsing experience with even more features to optimize your search for funding. And what's great about this migration is that all your alerts and, back and backups were automatically transferred to Research Connect. Uh, so this means that you could also use the same logins, login details that you used for open for research. Where to find information on Research Connect? You can find info in several ways. Well, firstly, through our DRD listserv of emails. So please ensure that you are subscribed to this. Uh, you can also uh, find more information on the Research Connect. Uh, via the postdoc and postgraduate student newsletters. So ensure that you are registered for the one that is relevant to you, whether you are staff or postgraduate students. So navigating research, the Research Connect platform is actually quite very easy. Uh, we suggest that you first uh, mm. click on the star icon, that one right there, uh, which basically uh, explains or, or provides explanations to each and every feature on the specific web page. So what will happen is that a, a pop-up will appear and you can literally toggle in between the different uh, explanations. So it just gives you a bit more background on a specific feature. If you also would like to learn more about navigating the platform under the question mark icon, uh, the one right there, uh, there are a number of how to guides. And these guides are basically all in video format. And each video is about roughly two minutes long. Watching them will take you up to 15 minutes. And what's great about it is that you could also download these videos and it's legal. Colleague Seps will, will not be looking for you. I'll just play a quick video to show you exactly how that will work and how you can access it. Just give it a few seconds. So as you can see, how to. The, the download function. So, 
So, okay, so what's new on research on the Research Connect uh, platform? So this is a list of new features on the platform, and I will go through each, each uh, feature in detail. Uh, so also please note that the last two features will mainly be used by us at the grants office. So departmental and also research group administrators are more than welcome to contact us uh, if they'd like to know more info or if they would like to have more information on these two features. So firstly, deadline reminders. So the so your search has yielded some uh, results and you want to set up a deadline reminder as to when the actual uh, uh, application deadline will be. Uh, uh, so you would literally click on the calendar icon right there and you can set yourself a, 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 a reminder as to how frequently you would like to receive uh, reminders of the application deadline. So what will happen is that as soon as you click on the uh, on the reminder uh, option, uh, this will then basically uh, transport or export a ICS file uh, to your downloads, you should see there. And if you double click on that file, it will then automatically uh, link directly to your default calendar, which is either your Outlook calendar or your Google calendar. And you can also right click on it. Apologies. And you can choose basically which uh, uh, program you would want the ICS file to open with. The Excel export feature, you can now also export uh, uh, research uh, uh, report documents in Excel format, where in Open for Research, you, could, you only could save them in Word format. And uh, what's great about the Excel format is that you can also uh, choose the level of detail you'd want the, uh, uh, the export uh, report uh, to be in. As you can see, you can actually set it for for standard, for the full detail, summary, or just the titles of the different uh, research results that you found, funding re funding uh, results that you found. So okay. So again, as you can see, so I'll just quickly show you how how this will then basically work. So as you can see, yeah, uh, yeah, again you have found a couple of uh, funding opportunities uh, uh, that you are interest in, interested in. So the first option would, would, would then be to either select all items, just quickly play that video, either select all items or select uh, all items in result, or you can basically select both. And then basically just download the actual file choose the, the report template, which is Excel export. And if you'd like to be fancy, you could also give the report a title, a description, and also a name. Click on download, and the file will then end up in your, in your downloads folder. OK. Right, there's a different, there's also a, a second option how you can do this. You can basically also just click on uh, uh, the link there where you can just uh, uh, select select this result and you can individually then also select the ones that you'd like to export and then follow the same process. So if you want to have, want to have specific results within that Excel export, you can then just go through your list uh, of results and then select the ones that you'd like to have in your Excel export. And then again, click on the, 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 the download option there, and then again, go through the process that I've just explained. So the Excel uh, file would look something like this, and you'll have all the relevant details and also the funding cooperation included in the Excel document. So uh, the alert frequency uh, uh, feature, this feature is where you could save 
results of a particular search in a folder and also sets and also set alerts uh, for new funding opportunities that might become available under the search. So how do you do this? Uh, you first save the search in a new folder or in a default folder, and then you can then access your saved items by clicking on the folder icon here at, at the top of the page, click here. And you would then be able to change the frequent uh, the frequency of alerts. So you can either set them for monthly, daily, etc., versus in Open for Research, where you could only set them uh, uh, for just a week. And I'll show you in a little video how this would work. And yeah, let me just quickly play that video for you. Uh, no, 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 no. But yeah, the new system doesn't allow us to access um, other profiles here. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. Okay, so on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't and there you can actually set the frequency alerts. I'd also like to highlight that this feature is how you could actually let your research community platform work for you. And what I mean by this is you can you can build different searches uh, and save them, name them, and then you can receive these uh, alerts straight to your email. So when a particular funding opportunity becomes available, you would then be able to access it via uh, 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 these folders. And then there's also the option to actually share the, uh, 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 the folder. You can now also create notes where you can also share the searches or the folders that you've created, uh, not only with colleagues that are within the Stellenbosch University institution, but also with colleagues that are currently not registered on the database or colleagues that do not have a university email address. So as you can see here, we were actually able to upload my colleagues Pusiletso's Gmail address and all these alerts will then also go to she will also receive the the alerts as frequently as you would do or as you actually set them um, so then there's the elastic search feature so this is a search algorithm on research connect which automatically extends search which automatically extends searches into uh, a call for projects that contain keywords related to those that are entered by the user. So in this case, we basically, so the basic keywords uh, uh, we've put in here was information and management. So the results that we've now received, as you can see there are 336. These are basically all items found that are related to information and management, so separately. So in this uh, uh, example, uh, we've now basically included the no. plus signs, uh, which will basically now make the words information plus information plus management. And it basically puts the two words together, looking for funding calls that includes information plus management okay. in one word. And what you can actually see here is that the, the actual items decreased from 336 to 166 and this way it narrows down the results in a way that is more relevant to uh, uh, what you have in mind
And now by putting uh, uh, both keywords or mm -hmm. as a phrase between quotation marks, it refines the search uh, 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 more further. And you will also see that now it looks for uh, for basically results that have information management as the 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 actual search. So as you can see, we went from from one sixty six to basically two items found. Okay. So all these tips are also available. Uh, uh, you would be able to access them by uh, it will be on your main page and by just clicking mm -hmm. on on search tips all the tips will be available as to how you can do combinations and how to refine your searches a lot more so then there's the uh, uh, default feature you can now okay. exclude um, and also i'll talk about the range as well uh, uh, so let me just quickly show you and search bar. Okay, so now you can also uh, uh, basically filter uh, uh, searches to the exact name of the funder and then also exclude certain funders that you do not, uh, 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 that you would not like to see. And uh, you can also then search them in accordance with the deadline dates. Yes. And also in terms of the days, months, and yes. year. Then there's the bulletin feature, which is the monthly summary of all major calls uh, uh, that were issued during the current yes. month for yes. general monitoring by team. Uh, uh, so you can share this and download it as a PDF document, and it'll look something like this. So there it will show you exactly how many uh, uh, how many calls were basically re released uh, uh, in arts and humanities, uh, biotech, EMS, engineering, and this will then basically be generated every single month. So, as mentioned. Uh, yeah. If you have a work group and you would like to know more how work groups and our work group management works, please feel free to contact my colleague Lisa Lizzo. She'll provide you with more information around work group management. So, it's, so when applying, so when it comes to applying for funding opportunities, should you find a suitable call and you are el eligible to apply, please keep the following in mind. If there is any requirement, required documentation that you need in terms of uh, uh, documentation, in terms of certain numbers, serial numbers that you have that you have to also include in the in the documentation, or you need uh, institutional signatory as required, uh, please let us know and contact the relevant the relevant person right there. Uh, you can also just send a general email to research at Sun uh, with the requirement in terms of if you need assistance with institutional documentation or in terms of the budget of the actual uh, project or application that you will be submitting. And uh, we will then basic we will then send the request through through to the relevant individual and this will happen way before the submission date. And so that's it, colleagues. If you'd like to know more, please feel free to send me an email. You can also email us at research at Sun, or you can also contact my colleague, Usaletso. We are more than happy to assist you. So feel free to give us a call or to send us a mail. And yeah, we are here to assist you. So with any further ado, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thank you very much, colleagues. Hey, colleagues. Yes, yes, uh, Mr. Steed.
Mr. Steed, you... Oh, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Okay, okay. All good. All good. Uh, any colleagues? Any any questions, colleagues? We are here to assist. Again, if anything comes up, you can always send us a mail. You can always give us a call via Teams. We are here to assist you. And yeah, feel free to reach out. So I'll give it another minute. Okay, so I take it we all are happy. And if that is the case, uh, I wish all of you a very, very productive week further and also a loving Tuesday afternoon. And take care. Thank you very much, everyone. Yes. Uh, goodbye.